Hi guys, it's Emily from Ozadet Free Girl here. I forgot to film a intro for this video, so this is what you get, me in my pajamas, on my video editing day. So one of the biggest questions I get about my budget and also how I keep my expenses so low is our groceries and how I keep my groceries so low. And one of those ways is that I shop the specials and I shop clearance, especially when it comes to produce, which tends to be the majority of your grocery budget, especially if you're doing it right. It should be the majority of your grocery budget, your meat, fruit and vegetables. So um, the way I keep them uh, super low is that if there is a good special on meat, I will buy more than I need, put some away in the freezer, uh, usually after breaking it up into meal size portions and eat off that so I'm eating this the meat at the special price all the time rather than eating it at whatever price it is when we feel like it. The other way is that I buy and shop the specials for produce so if there is something that we really love or there is a really good deal on something that we eat I will buy more again and I will either freeze it as is or process it into a meal or a ingredient that we will eat. For example, I was able to get sweet potatoes for 29 cents a kilo, and so I got four or five kilos, chopped them up into sweet potato, diced them into sweet potato bits to add to risottos and stews and soups and things like that. I chopped some up into chips and froze them for chips, sides, a side of chips. I diced, I sliced some up for potato bakes so that they were already frozen and ready to go. I obviously cook some fresh and they keep in the fridge for a couple of months as well. But I do things like that, especially with potato, um, potato and leeks. I will make potato and leek soup, pumpkin when it's on special. I will make into pumpkin soup. Um, lasagna if I can get lasagna sheets cheap or if I can get I have lots of mints I'll make a bunch of lasagna um, and freeze that which leads me to the second way that I save money is that I will cook once but eat multiple times so if I'm making lasagna for dinner I'm not making one lasagna it takes the same amount of effort for me to make one lasagna for my family than it does to make three or four lasagnas I mean you're just doubling or tripling the recipe and doubling it all out so I will make more and freeze it into meals for later and other weeks. That saves me time during those weeks that I'm not cooking. It also saves me money because I'm not going to reach for takeout. It means that I am bulking out my meals more. So I will put more vegetables, more onion, more carrot, more zucchini, stuff like that into my mince spaces. So there is more mince and more sauce and to make more of a meal. Um, I'll also I'll do that with lasagna, I'll do that with shepherd's pie, um, uh, meals in a bag, uh, chicken, if I have a lot of chicken legs I'll buy a bunch of chicken legs when they're on special and either add a sauce or a marinade and break them up into meals and then I can just either dump them in the slow cooker or dump them on a tray and put them in the oven day off. Saves me lots of time, lots of money because again I'm eating those things at that sales price. I'm looking in that price rather than um, having to pay for it at full price. When I'm buying these bulk things, 99% of the time I'm staying on my budget. So I'll always have a little extra in my budget for these things. And then other weeks I'm saving a ton because if nothing good's on special, I don't have to buy meat. I can go to my freezer and see what I've got. If nothing good's on special for produce, I will just buy some fresh fruit to get us through the week and look at what else I have in my fridge and my freezer. If I have bananas cheap, I will freeze some for smoothies. If I have a ton of apples, I will stew some and make it into apple crumbles and save, save those for nights that maybe you have people over and you just wanna bust out a quick dessert those kinds of things. Um, that is a huge reason we save so much on our groceries and we're able to eat so well. We do eat steak and prawns and squid and uh, hubby eats octopus and crab. Um, we also eat chicken, turkey, lean meats, pork, lamb, all of those things. Um, we do eat roasts and um, more expensive cuts of meat as well. I only buy them on special and because I'm buying everything I eat on, we eat on special, it's so much cheaper and that we can sort of splurge a little bit. And I try and keep my meat under $10 a kilo and my meat per meal 
anywhere between $10 to under five, I'm doing really well. So yeah, that is how I keep our groceries so low. And this is a tour of my freezers. I said freezers, I have three of them. <laughs> I have the one on top of my fridge and I have the a little sort of bar freezer that's got no drawers in it, but it's um, there for um, clearance bread, clearance um, pastas, uh, frozen pastas, clearance uh, vegetables, and then just frozen veg and stuff like that, having enough on hand so that if I run out of fresh veg, I can just go into my frozen veg and not have to buy anything super expensive. Um, I also have a stand-up freezer, which is new, that has shelves in it. It needs defrosting, I'm sorry, it's on my list. And that is where I keep all of my meal prep stuff, anything that's gluten-free, gluten-free clearance items, and I also make up individual portions of meals for my nan so that she doesn't have to cook as much. I'll just take them over in big batches so they live in there too. So I hope you like that this video and I hope you stay around to watch the freezer tour. If you like it, let me know. I will post um, what my freezers look like once I've defrosted and reorganized them again and filled them with meals. So yeah. So, um, with everything that's going on, I'm behind in everything and I've decided I'm going to do a cook up and make some freezer meals and do some meal prep, all of those fun, lovely things that I usually do, but I'm going to do a big one. First step is obviously taking inventory of what I've got. So, I thought I'd take you guys through my freezers. So, this is chicken legs and this definitely needs to be defrosted. So I might move all of this, because this is my gluten-free meal prep stuff, to the other freezer, let this defrost for a couple of hours, and then move it all back um, before I do my meal prep. There's chicken legs, some smoothie packs, this is frozen solid, and two shepherd's pies there. Down here we have gluten-free bread, a gluten-free lasagna, some ham slices, which I'll get out for lunches this week. Out now, some gluten free pizza bases and two lots of ice blocks that I've just thrown in last night since it's hot and the kids want treats. Down here, we have three gluten free Turkish breads that are on clearance, a pork roast, which I will do two or three meals out of, so that might be part of my meal prep, a lone squish from ice cream, one, two, three chicken noodle soup meals that I've put aside for my nan, that I will take to her. Uh, down here we have some banana muffins that I made for kids' lunch boxes that are frozen there, a potato and leek soup, one, two, three pumpkin soups and one diced sweet potatoes and one potato sweet potato chips so and down here we have one two three of these small frozen chickens i got them three for ten dollars so i know i have three of those i have diced bacon bits which i got in small packs i got two lots of those and those will be for potato bakes etc um, that's that entire shelf. Gluten free dinner rolls, gluten free sourdough, gluten free white bread, gluten free soy linseed bread, and another chicken legs that I actually bought for a girlfriend. I'm just going to take them out of here. So that's my freezer with my clearance items, gluten free stuff all in there, and my meal prep freezer. So I will be doing clear out of that anyway and defrosting that one. That's freezer one. Just gonna oh. clip this one. Um, these are quite a bit more empty because with everything that's going on, I haven't really been doing any big shops and I cleared them out in September for shelf timber. So I've got one, two, three, three barbecue sausages and one pork sausages there at the bottom. Frozen mango. One, two, three, spinach and ricotta ravioli I got on clearance, so there's three meals there. These are my stockpile of frozen veggies. So I don't have veggies, I can just come in here and grab a packet. Uh, that's the frozen squid from this week's shopping haul and a raisin toast for the kids' breakfasts. 
they'll be eaten this week, this week. And that is chick uh, marinated chicken bits. So that will be a meal this week for everybody. I'll add that to the meal plan. And otherwise, this is pretty empty and has not long been defrosted. So I'll move the stuff from that one and let it defrost My into this one. fridge freezer. It is a mess at the moment. I will do a tidy up when I move everything around. But what I've got is big thing of chicken broth, small chicken stock, that's chili con carne. Those are frozen capsicum bits. They go into chili and stir fries and stuff like that. Um, I'm low on chicken stock, but when I do those three chickens up, I will do all those bones and make a big thing of chicken stock, and so this will all be filled with chicken stock. Two turkey mixes. Um, I would do a pasta bake with those. I'd probably do a pasta bake and throw it in as a freezer meal for another week. I've got some frozen veg that are open, need to move. Tiny bit of raisin bread, raisin toast. Three more, four more chicken stocks. Uh, down here I have some peas, a little bit of spring rolls, which I'll do for lunch today, get them out of there. Some gluten-free and some normal uh, puff pastry. Here have the steak that I prepped, a thing of sausages at the back, there'll be seven in there because that's what we eat for a meal. A small bit of diced chicken and then all of this chicken breast over here and hubby's ice cream. And then in the door, we have some imitation crab, which is cubbies. This is kind of where open things go, small, weird, awkward amounts go. A couple of sausages there, some gluten-free fettuccine, some diced chicken breast that was opened because we only needed a little, smoothie pack, sweet potato fritters, which expire soon, so I might make those, a single gluten-free pie. <laughs> Some little pizza bases, which I'll do for a kid's lunch on a the day they're home. Some prawns, which will probably end up being an easy meal for me. And that is salmon. Some salmon. Oh, and two sausage rolls that I made in my last meal prep. So I might grab those out for lunch for the kids as well. So yeah, that's my door, like you can see, it needs a bit of a wipe out and reorganize. And generally my open bags of veg will live here so I can quickly grab them. And then all of this is filled with these green containers because they stack nice and neatly. So yeah, those are my three freezers. They are low and disorganized at the moment. And I will show you in another video when they're all full of meal prep.